water, earth, fire, air. This may sound like a genre-bending band from the 70s, but it's actually a last airbender thing. Long ago, there were no licensed Lego themes. Then everything changed when Star Wars hit the shelves, and while new licensed themes appear every year, I believe there is one that deserves a second chance. Avatar, the last airbender. Not that other avatar with the freaky blue cat people. Hold it right there, airbender. Oh, <laughs> Flamio, Hotman! Don't you Flamio me. The Fire Lord has decreed that Avatar the Last Airbender won't be getting any more sets. Ever. There's only room for one Nickelodeon license. <laughs> Excuse you, dude? I didn't vote for him. That's not fair! I see you won't listen to harshly worded unreasonable demands. Then perhaps you'll listen to my flaming fists! Justin! I was just seeing if you wanted to inventory the set. Uh, oh! Oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah! I mean, I, I guess, if you want me to. Sorry, Justin here with the Atlanta Brick Co. And I am freaking out a little bit that this set is in front of me based on the extraordinarily popular animated TV series Avatar The Last Airbender from 2005. This is set number 3828 Air Temple. That's right, just Air Temple. Not the Air Temple, not the Southern Air Temple, not the Northern Air Temple. Just, just Air Temple. Just any Air Temple. So the story behind this set and the Fire Nation ship, the other Avatar The Last Airbender set, is that LEGO was feeling out what would people like best. This was not actually under an Airbender theme, it was actually under the theme of Nickelodeon. Because SpongeBob SquarePants came out at the same time. Which is going to sell? more. Avatar The Last Airbender or Spongebob Squarepants? Well, Spongebob obviously won because Airbender, we only got two sets, even though I think Airbender is a far superior show. You would agree, wouldn't you? Of course you would, because you're men and women of prestige and intelligence. Okay, Spongebob is funny sometimes. The Airbender sets were only available in the US and Canada, making them kind of hard to get on the aftermarket. This is also known as the smallest Lego theme ever, because it only had the two sets. No poly bags, no keychains, no CMFs, nothing. These two sets that's it. Now the reason why Spongebob probably won is A, it probably sold more sets, and B, Lego knew that Avatar was only going to go one more season, so looking at it from a longevity standpoint, their money was better served on the Spongebob front. Of course, Nickelodeon now has three sets under the Lego banner. Avatar The Last Airbender, Spongebob Squarepants, and Ninja Turtles. Maybe we'll do a crossover episode where they can all battle. My money's on Aang. So how popular was Avatar The Last Airbender? The answer? Extremely popular. Each new episode broke records. It was the highest rated syndicated TV series in cable history. So back in the olden days, there was this thing called cable and everything wasn't streaming. Ask your parents if you don't know what I'm talking about. It was a lighthearted adventure show that was also a coming of age story that also dealt with some really heavy dark themes such as war, prejudice, and a bunch of others. And it tackled it so well. And then you set it in this very rich fantasy world that's loosely based on Asian cultures, and the four bending martial arts were based on actual Chinese martial arts. Did you know that? If you're a huge airbender fan, you probably did. Water bending, which he's not actually waterbending, but he's from the water tribe, is based on Tai Chi. Airbending on a much lesser known Bagua. Firebending is based on Northern Shaolin Long Fist. Earthbending, which we never got an earthbender, we never got Toph, is based on Hungar, also known as Tiger Crane. So if you ever get in an Avatar trivia contest, there you go. There's some little nuggets of knowledge for you. Mwah! You got a hit show. 
great writing, great acting. You actually had children voicing some of the characters. It was done so well. Many notable critics have called Avatar The Last Airbender one of the top five animated series of all time. So if I haven't sold it to you yet, go out and watch it right now. It's on Netflix. Unless you don't have Netflix or a friend's account. You have no excuse. So the two sets fell into relative obscurity for a while. Then in 2020, Avatar The Last Airbender showed up on Netflix and the popularity exploded even more. People were rediscovering it. It got new fans. It made old fans remember, oh yeah, that show was pretty good. <gasps> they made Lego sets of that? It caused the aftermarket prices to skyrocket. The show was on Netflix's top 10 list for a record setting 60 days for a kid's cartoon. So these amazing sets came out in the summer of 2006. This was only 400 pieces, whereas the Fire Nation ship was, I believe, 722, so it was a good bit larger. Let's practice our stances, use our form, focus our chi, and get into this set. Air Temple comes with everything you see here. We'll get to these later. Let's just get into the temple. Away with you. Starting at the top, we have this nice roof detail that is a print up there. And then you have those large panel pieces right there. The stickers were already applied when we got this set. That's why they are a little crooked. I do want to point out a scratch right here, a, a brown scratch. I don't know what that's from or what caused that, but... Um, it's, you know, it's a used set, so that's what we have. Moving on down, we have this roof detail here, and then we move back down to the main entrance there. Let's get rid of these guys. So we have a lovely snow landscape here. From the side, it's pretty narrow that way, and the sides are built slightly differently. Like so. So this is what it looks like on the side, coming down. You've got some axes on that side. Little area to play in, some weapons ready to go. This is a tray where you can put slime so slime's always fun, right? There's the mechanism for the door. I'll show you that in a second. This is where you drop slime. So you have slime hanging up there on the top. Let's get some light in there, shall we? You have the slime ready to drop on some unsuspecting Fire Nation fools. Let's just set Axe Guy there. See how this works. And then you pull that. Oh, and he gets knocked out with the trap door. The slime was just incidental. When he comes to, he'll slip on the slime. For here, this is a launching pad for Aang. They suggest you place Aang here with his glider. Sorry, not there. There. Takes some balancing. And you launch him. I'll do a weak one. There you go, Aang. Just like airbending. The mechanism for the door is straight out of the show. You use airbending to unlock it. I cannot open it. I'm pushing from the back. It will not open. Use airbending to open it like that. Spin the wheels and it opens. Just like that. So you spin those and they just lock. And you do have to do one then the other. So you have to do that one first and then that one. If you do it opposite order, it will not work. Or you'll get tangled up. These are stickers. All three of these are stickers. This is what it looks like from this side. You've got one little spot for a minifigure to stand and that up there. This is completely empty back here. And there's where the slime is. And I already showed you this, right? The swords and the axes for people to attack. I believe this is an extra slime holder because you do have this one that you build, which I will show you in just a mo. I believe this is supposed to represent the weapons that they discover are being made in the temple by the inventor 
in well, check out episode 17 episode 17 of season one and here is our fire nation tank this actually represents two different types of tanks and i'll explain that in a second if you know the episode then you know this is the tanks that would shoot the grappling hook out and then these tanks would crawl up the mountain to get to the air jitsu temple uh, air jitsu i keep saying air jitsu air bending air temple i've been watching too much ninjago i'm mixing my lego martial arts together so you just wind this up so really really simple there this guy does not stay in there there's no studs he just sits in that place like that very very simple so you can turn this into you just take this off and that's all that is it's three pieces that's what it looks like underneath so they did add some burning coals details there and a couple of levers I don't know why the blue I guess it's a nice plush blue seat but you can put this subassembly up here this is a disc shooter and this represents their cannons their other type of tank that they had or maybe was it the same tank and it could do both they only gave you one of these so they allowed you to switch the tops and what this does I'll back it up I was unfamiliar with this piece I had to look it up you pulled this back this is a flexible part right here and it's filled with these discs so you just put these in there and and they fly out of the top but it does shoot it as well so maybe you're only supposed to put one in at a time let's see how it works with just one and pretty good lesson learned just put one in there because it'll launch it out of the top too so this is what you have in the way of extra accoutrement we have this little barrel nothing special with it it's just a barrel with a two by two round top there's actually nothing in it either this is a little tray of extra slime projectiles that's it just as the trans green one by one rounds uh, this is a tray with the extra fire discs for the fire nation to shoot at the temple and a extra little technic piece there just for looks it's not actually used for anything it's just in the crate to look menacing does it work i'm menaced this is what our good guys fight back with this little catapult here that launches slime simple little technic build there and let's see it launch I will try to catch these when they hit. I'm going to hit it kind of light. Here we go. Fire! Yeah, that was way too light. But of course, the harder you hit it, the more it will go back to reset it. Just push it down. And there you go. Load it with some more slime to fire at the Fire Nation. Let's move on to the figs. And we'll start with the star. There's Aang with his vinyl, soft vinyl piece for the glider. Very, very good condition for that. They have these extra holes in here, I guess, if you wanted to have a little bit different construction. Maybe it's how it's made, I'm not sure. They used a black piece instead of a brown, even though they use brown printing there. I don't get that. That's all it is. Let's take that off. And look at the Aang figure. I love the expressiveness of the eyes. I think in this sense, it's a rare occasion when the non-Lego eyes and more the animated style eyes actually work. Uh, could have used some more opacity on those leg prints, but what can you do? I would say that was deluxe for the time. Some printing on the head on both sides. Very, very cool with his airbending arrow on there. Very nice. Love his face. What a perfect Aang face. Here's Sokka looking a little... Oh, get your head down, man. Looking a little strange without his nose. He does have that Sokka smirk, which is perfect. Again, got some printing on the head there. Did not use a hairpiece for these. Got Mr. Boomerang on the back. The opacity is much better on these legs. Got a little dust on there. 
Get off dust. Water tribe represent. Last for the good guys is this bat lemur, Momo. He is a rubbery piece. A little bit of flex to it. Got the gray print on his face and the dark tan in his ears. That's what he looks like. All the animals in the Avatar universe were all mixtures. They were combinations of two different animals. So he is a bat lemur. The only exception being the Earth King's bear. It was just a bear. For our baddies, we've got this Fire Nation, I guess an admiral or a captain or a lieutenant. He's an older dude. He's seen some war, man. Got the printed knight armor there. The torsos are completely blank, so I will not be taking this torso off. It's just all black. There's no printing whatsoever on the torso. You've got that knight helmet in dark red, which is gorgeous. And that's a pretty good print, too. Even with an animation style face, it still looks good. I think the only reason Sokka looks strange to me is because his smirk. Maybe he shouldn't smirk so much. Rounding out the bad guys is this fantastic flaming Fire Nation soldier. He's got a different print. Notice the print on this guy. On his armor, same armor piece, but a different print on him. He's got the dark red helmet here from the Fantasy Knights era, and there's his skull face. In the show, that skull face was part of their helmet, but for him it's just a print on his head, and I believe that's on, yeah, it's a white minifig head. That's it there. Same as the other guy, there's no printing on the body whatsoever. It's a regular motorcycle helmet. You're ready to go. Ready to catch some Avatar. The last sub-assembly we have is this representation of airbending, and they use this piece here and just the clear dish. And he's bending some air right at your face. Bend that air. You can see the glare of my lights. And there's my reflection. Hi. Man, airbending is so powerful and so versatile. But I think that's a pretty good representation of air. I mean, how else would you do that in LEGO, right? So that's what it looks like one more time with a slightly different angle. This set is awesome. It's a smaller, more simplistic set but it has everything you need. It has play for both sides. Of course, if you're buying this, you're not gonna play with it. This is going to be a display piece and it still looks good. It represents those scenes from the show. Of course, in the actual show, this was an interior door. It was deep within the temple itself and this is more the exterior, but what, what does it matter? Use your imagination. That was a major part and a major scene in that show, so they wanted to include it. So I understand why they kind of mixed it together a little bit, because they wanted the exterior, and they wanted that very unique door to be in the set. And of course, you have plenty of room to pose figures and have a little battle on the inside. And both sides have something to shoot at each other. Win-win. So we do have the box in very good condition very nice and we have the instructions also in amazing condition not doggy eared at all that was nickelodeon's avatar the last airbender air temple amazing set awesome mini figs sure it could have been bigger if they ever redo this it, it needs like a full temple with a full tank. It is really, really cool. It definitely captures those scenes from that episode. This is going to make someone very happy who's an airbender and slash Lego fan. Can't recommend it enough. If you're subscribed, thank you so much. If you're not subscribed, please consider it. Or I'll send some firebending your way. No, I, I can't do that. I, you don't get subscribers by threatening people, I don't think. Especially with firebending. Some people might. Some people might. We do what we can in this world. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much.